G'day all, uh, welcome back to the Talon GT Rebel build series. I'm currently in the process of soldering up the flight controller and the ESC in preparation for wiring and installation. Uh, we'll then look at all the electrical install including Express LRX receiver and installing the firmware through Express LRS configurator. We'll install the GPS and we'll also look at setting up and installing the four Emacs servos in preparation for its final configuration in iNav, which will probably be in the next video. All right, so all my um, pins are in. I've got all my soldering done. Fingers crossed now. What I don't have is a smoke stopper. Should have a smoke stopper, but I don't. I have tested it with a multimeter and it all seems to work all right. So let's plug it in and just see what we get. No smoke, that's a good sign. <laughs> it's always a good sign. What I might do next, I've got to make a little wiring up here for the GPS, the receiver, because I'm not using the 2.4 gigahertz receiver that's built into this. I do want to use the Wi-Fi telemetry that's built in. And you can only use, from what I can understand, you can only use one or the other. So you've got these jumper plugs um, where I've got them situated here. Um, that I'm assuming turns off the 2.4 RX and will activate the Wi-Fi telemetry. If you want the, the RX, these have to be put to the bottom pins here. We'll connect up the GPS. We've got the receiver here, which we will solder to as well because I don't have the servos. I can't do much with that except make the cables up for them ready. But that's a good start. We've got power, no smoke, and it's uh, basically ready to install. So we have to make up some cables now. I've got to replace the plug. Uh, that was on the end of the GPS. Cut that off. And we're just gonna put on some basic servo plugs here. I've um, got a whole heap of these little connectors. This one here is the one I'm going to use. It's the way it's set up, it's got to go into UART5. That's where I'm going to put it. And UART5 RXTX go right at the top, and the 5 volt and the ground are at the bottom in this case. So that's the completed wiring for the plug on the GPS with this uh, BN220 GPS. Green is your RX, so you take your TX to run to your RX, RX to run to your TX on the flight controller. Next is setting up the wiring receiver. Uh, we, solder, we solder the pins using only power, ground and video. In this case here, I've wired it incorrectly uh, only th only three wires are used, power, ground, and video, to get it working. Uh, then I glue the vibration dampening to the bottom of the flight controller using hot glue. I'm just using foam here. I am going to change this though because it's too it sits too high. So the plan here is to tidy up all the wiring, ESC wire, signal wire. Uh, I've cut it short. Plugs into uh, signal one at the bottom here. So we'll just put a few of these, put two of these servo connectors on it. And then after we've, well, after I'm happy with all this, um, I think I'll look at mounting, hard mounting the, the flight controller into the craft. Before mounting the flight controller in the fuselage, make sure you have already calibrated your accelerometer in INAV. And also make sure the red wire on your ESC signal pin is not connected to the flight controller. We hot glue the flight controller down and then we hook up the GPS and we also mount that as well in its compartment. 
We then hot glue the USB port and buzzer. I do that to the front of the fuse. I like to use hot glue, um, debatable, but I like to use hot glue uh, because I can easily remove things if I make a mistake just by heating it back up again. We run the wiring through for the receiver. Be sure when you set the receiver up and, and create your wires that you are using the Crossfire protocol uh, for Express LRS. This is exactly how I wired mine, so you should have no dramas if you follow the same procedure. So connect the flight controller to your PC and open Express LRS configurator. When flashing the firmware to the receiver, select the, the receiver in the drop down tab and your first flash with it, you need to select beta flight pass through. Uh, also check your binding phrase is correct and select build and flash at the bottom. Now this process can take a few minutes. But once finished, you should see success in green at the bottom of the screen. We then mount the receiver with hot glue. I like to secure the wiring and the antenna connection with hot glue for added security so nothing comes apart. And then tidy up all your wiring. Right, so my, my servos finally came in. Yeah, these, these are analog uh, Emacs ES08MA2s. So we're going to fit them. I've got four of them. It took a long time to come from Banggood due to shipping issues and lost mail. I've got to fit two of them in each wing and then two in the V-tail. So I like to set my servos up. I've got four of them to do um, using using this uh, tool let's plug it in and we'll um, go from there and we'll find center find center on our servos that's center there okay so that's centered at that so plan is just to roughly set this up at this stage We'll do the finer adjustments a bit later on. So basically I just want to make sure my ailerons are even on the back of the wing here. So we're going to have to extend our rods. So what we'll do, I'll stick this there, that's where it wants to be. That's the section we want. So if I get my ailerons even, we'll just give these a little twist out so it gets it roughly in place and then we'll fine tune that later on and give it a little bit more one more turn out I think will be fine yeah that's good there that's good there we'll um, screw that in and then we'll glue in the servo I'm going to set this up second hole down from the top that is, we've got four holes all, the, all up doesn't mention anything in it anything too much about it in the manual though where it's best to be set up but I've had a look at others that have been that have been set up um, and that's how they are so let's just hook this back up again to our machine and yeah that's perfect yeah so center is right, oh, it's a bit out. I might even bring it back one more notch on the control horn, I think. Right, that's a bit better. That's that's pretty spot on there. I'll just um, double check again. That's going to give me plenty of throw, though. Yeah, still a little bit light here, but I think I'm not sure what the gap is. And what the measurement is needed for the um, for the aileron here, got to find that one out. But um, we'll start off with that anyway, and we'll do all these adjustments a bit later on. 
but that's as it is that's pretty good as a starting point I think so the only thing I'm not real happy with is um, having a having one screw just going through into the control horn now I'd rather see a bolt and a lock nut on the other side but the setup's not letting me do that so I might have to try and change this over a period of time that that screw could easily work loose and um, end up coming out so I'm going to change that the back V tail has a bit better setup has a little dog leg on the control arm I'm not sure why they didn't do that um, for the for the main ailerons I mean the balls are good but you need to have a lock nut on the other side just like you do on the aileron itself other than that I prefer this to go into the control horn yeah so this here I'm gonna change this setup I don't like that that's to me is a weak point and you don't want that coming out or else you've got a big problem so now that we've got everything centered basically centered we'll fine-tune it later we'll hot glue all the servos in the four of them and hook up all the, the control horns and uh, connecting rods we're just going to tidy up all this wiring here and then um, I think we'll look at putting it back on I nav and just doing a few more things on there so I'm going to come back later on tonight as you can see the sun's come out and it's getting hot in the garage here we'll connect up the ESC signal wire we'll um, connect up our two servos we will also put it on iNav and go over all the stuff on iNav again and do a proper install of that. We might just test it all out after that, make sure the motor's running the right way and our, um, our ailerons on our auto level are working the correct way as well. I hope you enjoy the video and hope you enjoy flying still and keep with the hobby. Uh, rain, hail or shine, the hobby can be done inside and outside, remember that. So until then, stay safe, keep flying and bye for now.